Kira Dan. I'm with the marketing street team at Rubicon Theatre Company and I'm here on the set of Rubicon's new production, Collected Stories, with Megan Andrews, who plays Lisa Morrison in the play. Welcome to Rubicon and thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Kira. This is your first production with Rubicon, but you have been in incredible productions on Broadway with both Frost Nixon and The Grapes of Wrath. What drew you to Collected Stories and the Rubicon and what interests you most about the play? Well. First and foremost, um, I was drawn to this play because it's a two-person play written by Donald Margulies, who's one of our great American playwrights. And the two people in this play are both women. So as an actress, that's invaluable. And I knew that it was gonna be a great experience. I've heard about the Rubicon before. Um, I have a number of colleagues in LA who have worked here. So. It, this place just has such a wonderful reputation. And since I've been here, since I've been working here, I know why that is now. I think there's just a feeling in, certainly in the rehearsal room and just in the theater in general, of support and encouragement, really just wanting us to do our best. And that helps me to give a great performance. So I knew that it was gonna be a, a wonderful show. There was no saying no. <laughs> saying no to a two-person play when both of those people are women. That's not an option. You're an accomplished actor as well as musician. As such, can you relate to any of the artistic struggles your character goes through? Absolutely. Um, one of the things that Lisa goes through is this experience of finding her own voice and as Margulies says in the play, coming out from underneath her influence. And um, I started very young. I was a child actor. And I did have that moment. I was young. I was a teenager. But I had that moment of realizing as a performer that I just had better things to do with my life than conform. And that was a powerful moment for me. I was about 16, 17, and realizing that I didn't want to sound like everybody else. I didn't want to play like everybody else. And sometimes I think as an adolescent, you sort of put your voice forward just to be in defiance, just so that you can tell this is me and not my influence. That was a little bit of it too, but um, it gave me a really strong foundation. It led me to the training that I eventually came to find, and it really paved the way for me in a, in a beautiful way. So I think I have that in common with Lisa. I certainly know what that's like. Your character, Lisa Morrison, exists in a protege role throughout the play. What extraordinary women in your life have you drawn inspiration from throughout your career? Well, aside from my mother, and my grandmother, who were both performers. Um, I think the mentor that stands out for me the most in this production uh, was my first acting teacher, Joan Potter. She studied with uh, Strasberg, so, um, but she had her sort of own variation on the method. It wasn't, um, it wasn't a hundred percent method, but it was. But it wasn't rigorous like you hear that it is. I didn't come to find that until later. Um, and Joan really helped to give me the foundation that I needed to have my own voice. I remember there's a moment in the play where I, I say to her, I just want your approval. I say to Ruth, um, I, all I want is, is, is for you to approve of me. And I think I said that verbatim to Joan at one point in one of our scenes. You know, I think I said something like, if you just tell me what to do, I'll do it. Just tell me what it is. And she sort of lovingly looked at me and said, oh, darling, I can't tell you what to do. You have to find it on your own. But it was that struggle of, of, of coming into my adult self. And Joan helped me to find that. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. No problem. Make sure you come see Megan in Collected Stories at Rubicon Theatre Company running through June 22nd.